help us what's up it's Asif Farragan so are you a fan of the Sigma prime lenses and do you really have a Sony full frame camera like the Sony A7 Mark III, A7C, A7S or the A7R Mark IV then I have a great news for you guys because Sigma again announced three prime lens and this time with a fixed aperture of f2.0 earlier we got the 16mm, 30mm and 56mm f1.4 lens and those lenses are just great for portrait and low light street shot but those lenses are a little bit expensive not like the Leica Simulox 0.95 AF lens not like that they are way more cheaper than Sony G Master lens or the Keral Jesus lens or the Canon L lens but they are significantly costlier so in this reason Sigma announced also three lenses this time a 23 millimeter a 33 millimeter and a 65 millimeter and this time they will go with the f 2.0 instead of a f number or aperture number f 1.4 that means they are not as fast as the older lens but they will be cost efficient than those lenses and i think these three lenses will be very great for certain users if you are a blogger then a 23 millimeter f2 lens will be a great addition to your blogger's kit because 23 millimeter is still a great wide angle lens and 35 millimeter will be a great street photography lens most of the street photographer use that particular focal length and with a f2 it will be just fast enough for street photography as well and the 65 millimeter lens will be a great lens for portrait photography still a little bit higher than the 50 millimeter but still not the greatest telephoto lens just starting on the telephoto end and have the 65 millimeter of focal length at 2.0 aperture so you can get great bokeh or blur background so that will be great lens for portrait users at this moment i don't have the price point of these three lens but i can definitely show you some images of these particular three lens and you love those images so see it by yourself So that's all guys about these three particular lenses. The Sigma 23mm f2.0, 35mm f2.0 and the 65mm f2.0 lens for the Sony full frame cameras. And I think after 2-3 to three months this lens will be available for the Fujifilm XF mount, the APS-C cameras, Nikon Z mount, the Nikon mirrorless mount and the Canon RF mount also. So that's all guys I have to say here in this particular video. So thank you for watching and if you love this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe this channel for more camera and photography related news. Goodbye guys. Have a nice day.